Hi, this is Keith Clark. This is a short video of controlling noise using a program called Procedural Bitmap Generator, uh, brought to my attention by Jeremy Michael Bloxham. I don't think what Jeremy didn't expect is what's about to happen. We're going to watch this video um, that I recorded, and you're going to actually see the faces appear and form in the frames, in the picture frames. This is pretty awesome. There's a couple of areas I want to draw your attention to. Notice we have a large face forming here on the left. This is actually it shows up in quadrants. And also keep attention to this area right here where you'll see this face form. So what's fascinating about it is uh, I told the program to run a lot of different iterations. Let me play this one more time. Its purpose is to generate noise. It's what it's used for computer programs and things of that nature. I imagine for creating landscapes and there's all kinds of applications. But I was able to take it live and change it. Notice your perspective will change depending on what size you're viewing things like this. Uh, that's normal and to be expected. So here we go again. You notice before we even start, since your pers perspective just changed because I made this rather small, you'll notice that this whole thing looks similar to a head uh, and it's multiplied four times. That's just a function of the software that I can't change. It's obviously meant for them to fill in a certain amount of space with noise. Notice if I make this a lot larger, your perspective changes as to what you'll see. This is important when working with Visual ITC because we're only looking at a portion of the picture at a time. I'm going to go ahead and play it one time like this. The reason this video was recorded was for this particular picture right here. That's actually me stepping forward frame by frame like you do with video ITC back in the day, the video feedback loop. And I'm proceeding forward frame by frame. And then once the face starts to get a little blurry, I go backwards a couple frames to show. So this face appears here and here, and you also see it over here. This is just the way the software is. One more time. And if you guys have any interest in it, then we'll go ahead and make some tutorial videos because that didn't take very long to figure out. And so this is our primary face that is the most defined in this particular video. Just for fun, let's go ahead and go on to the next one. There are three of these that I was able to make into videos to demonstrate what's what. And as I talk, I'm looking at two different screens. Okay, so this is our next one. We'll start at the beginning of the video and press play. Also, we have what looks similar to a face down here. But as it's playing, a lot of different things going on. Looks like I need to move on to the next one because that one was not obvious to me. I'm going to pause it, leave full screen, resize it to where your perspective is correct. All right, we're somewhere down around here. Okay. Pressing play. And again, this is this is real real trippy stuff. I don't think anybody would disagree with me. Notice we have a picture that's formed in the four corners. It's a person looking like this. They've got long hair and they're looking up. This is their head, but they're in all four corners. 
That was a little bit harder to see. Actually, right there is a good spot to where it almost solidifies. And that is it for this video. That's Contoli Noise. If you guys like it and you want to experiment with experiment with it, let us know and we'll do some video tutorials. This is what it looks like when you run it in real time. It's pretty awesome actually. I went ahead and I upped the number of frames. It is probably graphic card intensive, so you might not be able to do like a thousand frames or repetitions on your computer. Mine's about seven years old, but it was pretty high powered at the time. This is what it looks like, which is pretty awesome. And what I had done, I don't even know if I can show this. Let's see. Ah, that's interesting. I had taken it, and when I was viewing it live, I was actually looking at it through exposure filters that were actually brightening it for me. And so, this is real time. Notice when I say create 1,000 1, frames, which is 1,000 pictures, it goes through the 1,000, and then it goes back to zero, and it just plays the same 1,000 over and over again. They don't change. But uh, is that pretty cool or what? If you were to record this and you were to go frame by frame, you'd find some pretty surprising things that you can't necessarily see with your naked eye. But I can tell you that just from a couple minutes with this, it is valid as a form of experimentation and my recommendation is for people to try it. I've already seen things in this that um, indicate it has extremely strong potential and should be considered. This is Keith Clark from My Digital Medium. Have a good day.